Clemson offensive lineman Dietrich Pennington is making news this week after the big weigh-in coming in at 360 pounds. Now, that has some fans saying that that's exactly what they wanted. They want a bigger and badder offensive line who can just you know, have their way at the line of scrimmage. And being bigger and badder means being heavier, and being heavier means a higher number. And so 360 pounds is exactly what those fans want. Now, on, on the other side, there are fans that are saying that is too heavy. And even guys at the NFL level are not 360 pounds. So that is not sustainable. And how can he possibly compete? at the starting position for the Tigers. So let's take a look and I will give you my thoughts on the discussion. But before I do, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of my exclusive Clemson content I put out every single week. Also, you can follow me over on Twitter at the Morgan T Show. All right, so Dietrich Pennington comes in at 360 pounds. Go ahead and get in the comments and let me know what you think. Is that too heavy? Is that just right? Um, or what do you think a right guard or a guard position at the uh, college level, an elite college level, should be? Now, when you look back at Dietrich Pennington, he enrolled with the Clemson Tigers in 2021 in June. And he was six foot five, 326 pounds back when he enrolled. He was a four star overall guy, fifth best offensive lineman from Tennessee, an evangelical Christian high school out of Cordova, Tennessee. Uh, if you look at, okay, what the scouts said, Barton Simmons, former director of scouting for 24 7 Sports, what did he say at the time of his recruitment? He's a wide body lineman, big jointed with a thick lower half and a bulky upper body. Doesn't look out of shape, but will need to work to keep the right weight on. Would benefit from leaning out and converting some body weight on the next level. Extremely coordinated and balanced for a big body. Plays both ways for his high school and has multiple, 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 <laughs> and has multi-positional and multi-sport background. Natural feet and lateral agility, stout against the run, and immovable on defense. Slow off the snap, is upright and passive with his hands, partially due to read and react technique. Can control blockers when he wants to. We like him as an offensive guard, more of a balanced and controlled mover than a violent disruptor. Conserves energy because of snap count. Looks like a future Power 5 impact starter, but needs to be in the right system or right position. With the right development and situation, has mid-round NFL draft upside. All right, in his multi-sport background, he played basketball and track and field. So he's definitely an athletic guy who can do different things. He's a really tall guy, and that helps his frame be able to hold a heavier weight. Now, going back to that other side of the argument, now NFL offensive lineman weights. So the average weight of an offensive lineman in the NFL right now is 314 pounds. It hasn't always been that way. As you know, it's kind of gotten heavier and heavier as the years go on. And also when you look at college football, when you compare that weight, 314 pounds, and the average for an offensive lineman in college football is 297 pounds. So again, Going even further, if you average it out to the average male in America, you're looking at 195 pounds. So uh, I'm a little bit under. I'm at 5'10", 188, but I would say I wouldn't want to be over 200 pounds because, you know, it doesn't look good on my frame. Now, if you look at somebody who's a lot taller than me, they can weigh 200 pounds, no problem. It's no issue. You see guys six foot tall, just a few inches taller than me, and you're carrying 20 pounds more than me. So again, there it all it all matters on what kind of frame you have, what kind of DNA you have, how, the bone structure that you have, and your height. It all plays to together with your ability to be able to carry a certain amount of weight. So I don't like to look at, oh, well, that one number is too is too much because it's really not fair to every single player. Now, I will say that there aren't very many offensive linemen. Obviously, the average is 314. So there's not very many offensive linemen in the NFL that are 360 pounds. And it will be up to the coaching staff to determine, can he handle that type of weight? Now, I agree with the other side of the argument that says you want to have Clemson, based on their their past lack of success moving the line of scrimmage, you want to have Clemson have the biggest, baddest guys out there. 
But again, biggest and baddest could be strongest and not necessarily heaviest. So there has to be a balance there. And when I look at someone like Dietrich Pennington, I always look back at Jackson Carmen and I think, okay, well, Jackson Carmen got to a point where his weight was a little bit out of control. And so they had him on a weight loss regimen or a weight management system where basically after practice, he had to go get on the elliptical every single time. And he had to make sure that he monitored his intake, his food intake throughout the week. So do you really want to be in that situation? For me, I don't like to do that. You know, when I'm monitoring my meals, when I'm constantly having to make sure I do my cardio just to keep a certain weight, that gets tedious. You don't want to have to do that for your entire career. Uh, you want to be able to focus on other things like building your muscle. You want to be able to focus on other things like like focusing on what you're doing on the field rather than have to constantly worry about, oh, I got to run another mile after this and I got to go get on the elliptical for an hour after that. You know, that can get kind of boring, uh, especially for me, whenever you get on a regiment like that. So I would prefer that he not, if, if he cannot handle, you know, taking the right amount of snaps at this weight level, I prefer he get down. But some fans in the comments um, over on Twitter, when I saw some people complaining about this weight size, some fans had some good, good responses there. And one of them was, that it's this, he, he came off of an ACL injury, he tore his right ACL, as you see the brace there on his knee. And that's not the same. That kind of recovery is not the same for someone like Adam Randall or um, Deshaun Watson or uh, Amari Rogers. Those guys are your skill position guys. Those guys are your, your low body fat guys that are out there and they're able to get back up on their feet and go and really work and, and really come back quickly and do things that an offensive lineman shouldn't do, can't do, and, sh- and it's not going to be expected to do in their rehab. It's going to take longer of a rehab for an offensive lineman for an ACL tear and somebody that's already big and bad six over six foot five over 320 pounds you know now up in the 360s obviously you, you're not just going to tear your ACL and then go keep keep doing your one mile two mile three mile walks every single week you're not doing that you're slowing down and you're you're working on your mobility and working on getting that range of motion in your leg back you're not necessarily worrying about how far you're walking or keeping your weight down. And so it's not surprising to me that he's at 360 pounds. Now, on the flip side of that, as one commenter mentioned on Twitter, this, this is the start of fall camp. Name one person, even the skinniest guy, even the guy with the least amount of body fat, like a 15 percenter like XT, Xavier Thomas, they're going to struggle to keep the weight on. So when you read a lot of articles about weight and and offensive linemen, I would say the majority of them are about the struggles of keeping the weight on through a football season. So again, think about it from that perspective. They're just started fall camp. Yes, he's at 360. Maybe that's not where you want him to be. If he can manage it, then let him manage it and let him push some guys around on the on the line of scrimmage and win those battles. If he can continue to get the right amount of snaps that's, snaps that's needed for a starter, then more power to him at whatever weight he can manage. Now, if he can't, then obviously they have to work on that and get that down. Maybe they don't even have to work on it because if you think about it, it's the start of fall camp. He's going to be now struggling if he's at 100%, if he's able to go every single day, then he's going to be struggling to keep his weight on. And that might be a good thing to get him back down to a more uh, normal or, or to the average of what you would see in the NFL or in college football. Obviously, 360 is not, but maybe maybe just simply participating in practice and in fall camp and then in the season will get him where he needs to be. Think about it that way as well. That's why they have these things here. So don't panic. Don't throw the red flag up. Hey, this is too much. He's he's still got high praises from Dabo Sweeney. Last year, we heard multiple times that Dabo Sweeney said he could potentially be a starter for the Clemson Tigers. And then he went out in injury, and that was just the, one of the start of in, in the injury-prone season of 2021 so let me know in the comments what you think do you agree are you kind of concerned that it's too much or do you more lean towards my thoughts and think hey it's the beginning of practice he's going to shed weight no matter what i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel